Now, today we are talking about the imposter syndrome, fear, insecurity, that nagging voice in the back of your mind all the time that bullies you and pushes you around and tells you you can't do this. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are to start a business? You can't do that. You don't even have any experience. There's other people doing it better. Look at her. Look at him. Look how professional they are. They have teams. You don't have teams. They've got money. You don't have money. Who do you think you are? Have you ever thought that? I bet you have. That, my friend, is the voice of the imposter syndrome. And if we don't understand what the imposter syndrome is, and more importantly, what we can and should do to fight back, then we will always fall victim to it. We'll believe it. We'll believe these lies. We'll stay stuck. We'll play small. We will never step into our calling. We will never build businesses that can actually really help people. And we will live in fear for the rest of our lives. So today, I wanna set you free. I want to teach you about the imposter syndrome so you can realize, first of all, how normal it is, and then I wanna give you some steps to fight back against it. Now, you may be thinking that someone like me doesn't struggle with imposter syndrome. You may think to yourself, oh, Christy's so confident. She's been on the Today Show. She's a best-selling author. She's, She's done all this stuff for such a long time. She doesn't struggle with fear. Let me tell you, Imposter syndrome can haunt you at every stage of the journey. Just when you think you've conquered your fear of one thing, that voice will creep right back in and taunt you again, especially if you're pushing yourself outside your comfort zone. I love how Joyce Meyer says, new levels, new devils. As soon as you push yourself to try something new or start something new, launch a new business or a new ministry or a new organization, or maybe just a new area of your business, maybe even just hire someone. Anytime you do something new, you're going to hear that fear and that voice again. Who do you think you are? You can't do that. You know, one of the most uh, memorable times I have of the imposter syndrome was in 2015. So I was a new Ramsey personality with Ramsey Solutions, and we had spent about six months building a brand called Business Boutique. Now, at the time, this brand didn't exist. It was starting as just an event. So there was no book, there was no podcast, no coaching group, nothing existed. But we were going to launch this brand new event called Business Boutique. Now, I had done years of research. I'd been a certified business coach. I'd started my own businesses. I'd been coaching in entree leadership for years. I had tons of experience in other areas, but I'd never done this. I'd never created a brand new brand and business unit in Dave Ramsey's organization. So as the fall goes on and we're leading up to that November event, the very first business boutique event, which some of you may remember in 2015 at Christ Church here in Nashville, I was planning all of the content. So I'm writing the content, I'm writing the keynote presentations, I'm writing the questions for the stage interviews, and I'm planning all the experiences from surprise cupcakes in the lobby to, you know, having the letter at the end, all these moments. I'm writing and writing and writing and planning and organizing, working with the team, brainstorming. We are bringing this three-day event dream to life. And in October, just a few weeks before the event, y'all, I had a complete freak out. I remember it so vividly. I was sitting in my home office writing and going over my notes and creating the workbook, and I was overcome with panic. Panic is the best word I can give you. I was ugly crying, freaking out, because at that point, that fear was so real. Who do you think you are, Christy? Who do you think you are? Dave Ramsey in the, in the company has invested thousands and thousands of dollars, team, planning, reservations, bands, food, chairs, all the things. Who do you think you're, this is not gonna work. No one's gonna come. They're all gonna be so disappointed, which can we just time out right there? I don't know how both are possible. No one's gonna come and they're all gonna be so disappointed. But that's what fear does, doesn't it? It hits you coming and going. It, it torments you at every possibility. And as I'm sitting there in my office, freaking out, ugly crying, just falling victim to that imposter syndrome. Who do you think you are to do this? I opened my Bible and just begged for the Lord to speak to me. And it opened to Exodus. When Moses says, I can't, I can't do this. I can't do this. And God says, who gave man his mouth? Is it not I, the Lord? Go, I will teach you what to say. 
God calmed my nerves in that moment. And that was definitely one of the most memorable and difficult moments of experiencing the imposter syndrome. But y'all, I have faced it countless times in my life. I have faced it when I am writing a new book, when I'm launching a new project. You better believe I faced it when I left Ramsey and started my own business. Who do you think you are? Maybe you have heard that voice before. Maybe you are hearing that voice even now in relation to something that you want to do, something new, a new business or new idea or new project or new product or new service or new offering. Maybe there is something on your heart and you just keep hearing, who do you think you are? Who are you to do this? I want to go ahead and just call out what this is. This is called the imposter syndrome. And here's what this means technically, okay? The imposter syndrome is a term coined in the 70s by researchers and psychologists. And it is this phenomenon of having a a fear of being found out. It is this overwhelming feeling of feeling like a fraud, Researchers believe up to 70% of people suffer from the imposter syndrome, and it is a trait, wait for it, of the high achievers. People like you with ideas and creativity and, and courage out there on the front lines, moving and shaking and making things happen, coming up with solutions for the marketplace and ministries that are going to transform lives. You, you're the one worried if you can do it. Someone checking out, watching Netflix all day, eating Cheetos, is not really worried if they're enough. They're not wringing their hands on the couch going, I don't know if I can make it. No, they're good. It's you. It's you. The ones trying to do things. Researchers believe that this is a, a, affects 70% of people, and it is a trait of the high achiever like you. So here's what we need to understand. First of all, imposter syndrome is normal. It is a trait of the majority of Americans, and it is a trait of you as a business owner, as an entrepreneur, as a leader. This is normal. So we can all look around and go, okay, okay, I'm not the weirdo. I'm not the only one that feels this way. Lots of other people feel this way. This is normal. The other thing we need to understand is this is not something you ever outgrow, okay? You can never get so successful that you never struggle with this again. This is something that can follow you your entire life. For example, Kate Winslet has said, Academy Award-winning Kate Winslet, like Titanic star Kate Winslet has said, each morning I would wake up and go off to a shoot and I would think, I can't do this. I'm a fraud. Maya Angelou, she has said, I've written 11 books and each time I think, "Uh uh-oh, they're gonna find out now. I've run a game on everybody and they're gonna find out. These are very successful people that still struggle with imposter syndrome. So I hope that doesn't discourage you that this is gonna stay with you forever. I hope it actually sets you free to know, yeah, it's gonna be here and guess what? You can do something about it. You can fight back. You do not have to listen to this voice. You do not have to fall victim to it. You do not have to stay stuck and play small and believe the lies it's feeding you. It's just not true. You can fight back against the imposter syndrome. Hey, listen, I know that starting and growing a business can be really overwhelming. You have a thousand decisions to make. You have a ton of plans you have to think for, and you are the CEO, the chief everything officer. You're doing everything yourself. Well, I want to help. That's exactly why I created a library of free resources to help you in every aspect of your business. If you go to christywright.com slash free, you will find tons of tools, templates, worksheets, and downloads to help you grow in everything you're working on. You will find a pricing guide, a persona template, a goal setting guide, the workbook for my business boutique book, and many more templates to help you. Go to christywright.com slash free to get your free resources today. That's christywright.com slash free.